I've had armpit lipo. Armpit lipo? Girl, you're 22. Hit the fucking gym. Huh? Full screen. Nah, don't say Lord. Um, uh, hold on. How the fuck do you, how do you full screen these? Get unready with me while I talk about how being gifted a BBL for my 16th birthday ruined my life. Okay, so yes, it was a gift, but no, it was not pushed on me in any way. It was actually something I begged for. Okay. Um, but I was 16. Okay, so I would say this ruined my life. Just so she got. Having star it's clear she got fillers in her lips, and she got. I think she, my I mean, I saw the video that she got veneers at 19. So it's like, girl. Plastic surgery journey at such a young age. I would say I quite literally became addicted. Um, I had eight procedures by the time i was 21. eight um, my 21 is nuts i'm talking about it now because i finally have started the journey of reversing my plastic surgery was i'm 22 now so i did get my bbl years ago so i would say it was before the whole like bbl wave really see my problem with this is that she got this bbl before her her body fully developed and that's the issue bro that's not okay bro <laughs> took full effect um, but again, for me, it was the age that I got my BBL. I don't have anything against BBLs. Now, there is a chance, since she has lip fillers, veneers, and a BBL, there is a chance that these are fake, too. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there. There is a chance. She didn't say it, but there is a chance. Now, now there's also a chance those could be the only real things on her. I, I mean, shit. So I ended up just getting a lot of honestly unnecessary surgeries and I would say in the end I ended up being more insecure than I was to begin with. Message! So my most recent body enhancement surgery that I had in 2022, I had major complications. Um, I would go as far as to say I'm borderline disabled. I can't do any of the things I used to be able to do and I enjoy doing. Um, I can't do yoga. I can't do, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things I can't do. Every decision that I make has to have an extra two seconds added on to be calculated. And you know what I mean? Like I have to actually calculate my movements to avoid causing further damage and pain. So starting yeah, at like such a young age with the plastic surgery and seeing like how easy it was to just go make all these alterations to your body i started to see more and more flaws in myself i'm not gonna lie bro i wouldn't be able to start a family with somebody who has major surgeries like these bro because to be honest with you i wouldn't know what you looked like before them you know what i'm saying like bro okay let me let me keep it a stack with you if you want to get fake boobs i mean is, there's no real big deal with that because like you can't grow boobs in the gym like you can with an ass um if you want to get like minor lip fillers like kind of like to fill out some empty spaces in your lips like i had said in this previous video that i recorded or i i put up if you want to put like little lip fillers to fill out the spaces but not make them like big whatever but doing like all that extra shit to your face getting the bbl blah 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 it's like what are our kids gonna look like because i don't know what you look like because let me tell you all something well i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know this but cosmetic surgeries and fillers are not genetics so when you have a kid with a girl who has all these fillers and cosmetic surgeries that's not going to transfer over to the kid so you <laughs> now look bro you might yeah, <laughs> she might have been butt ugly before all these surgeries these and then you have a kid and you're like god but like at what cost you know what i mean i'm okay, physically I'm sorry. mentally worse off than i was prior to these surgeries. And that's the thing, bro. And I'm sorry I keep pausing it. I'm making this longer for myself. It's already been seven minutes. That's the thing, bro. A lot of people who get these surgeries, they always say it never made them feel better and it never makes anything better, bro. I mean, my body was still developing. You know what I mean? Like, the it was nowhere near it's full. <laughs> you know, I was still developing. I'm 16 years old. I feel like that clinic in Miami should have never, ever, ever um, allowed that to be a thing. That too, you shouldn't um, have allowed well a 16 year old to get a BBL. I highly, highly regret it. I don't recommend plastic surgery to anyone. I plan on speaking out more about it. But for tonight, I am going to go get in bed and bed rock. Is that the thing that turned the light? 
Oh, that's so fire. Get on. I want one of those so bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's get to part, part two. Part two of answering questions. Okay, so she got before and after pics on this one. 16 ruined my life. Bro, these I videos get lower and lower. Four braids during this, so I'm getting super distracted. But um, a lot of people wanted to know who gifted me this BBL. So it was my boyfriend at the time that had gifted me the BBL. Um, I had been bringing it up nonstop for six months. I mean, she could have been like begging for it, but bro, you ain't, you ain't, like bro, I actually have my mixer volume all the way up for y'all. I never do that when I react to videos on stream. Like I have them at like 75% um, so that y'all can, so that they don't like blare your ears out. And then when I edit the videos later, I'll like make it lower or whatever, or keep it the same. But like, I cannot hear her and the, the mixer's all the way up. He knew that it was something that I really wanted to do. Um, he See, here's the thing, bro. If you, two and a half. He was two and a half years older than me. He did get a pretty hefty allowance from bro. his mom at the time. And so. You gotta fight back when your girl's asking for surgeries like that, especially at that age. That to buy me a BBL for my Like at the end of the day, birthday, do what you want. But like, if you're fucking 16, car, your body's not fully developed and you want to get a plastic surgery. Like about removing fat You're from your body and putting it in your ass and thighs so long idiot. or something like that just basically like announcing like i got you the surgery a lot of people want to see my before and after pictures and i don't have a ton of before like immediately before and immediately after pictures um other than the ones that i gave the surgeon to review and i don't feel like those are super appropriate to share so i'm gonna show a few throwbacks that i have of before and immediately after because Wait a minute. Don't tell me she sent this nigga just her ad. Oh my god, no. Since I got the BBL, I have had... That's crazy, bro. You sent your surgeon pictures of your ass at 16. Now, the... What did, what did she say? Miami? is What's the, the age of consent in Florida? Because I know in some states, you know, in Connecticut, 16, I get it. So it would have been technically okay, but like... God. I don't think it's 16 Eight everywhere surgeries after and that was my point in the original video is this the addiction child pain, bro. plastic surgery and to being able to just alter your body you do you get what i'm saying there was a small window when i just had a bbl so i don't have a ton of pictures of me just with the bbl because i did continue getting surgery after surgery okay, here's me before this is on my 16th birthday this is the day that i was gifted the bbl look at the smile on my she face she looks so different well not she doesn't even look bad bro hold on y'all hold on y'all had no idea what i was getting into here is another before she this don't look bad but again she's 16 so i'm not gonna say too much about this months after my 16th birthday and then here is the last one this was a couple of months before my 16th birthday okay now we're gonna get to the after pictures this is me young little me after um it's like <laughs> girl my the the issue with this is like this isn't even like i'm not really trying to do too much because again 16. <sighs> that ain't even that big you you really did a bbl for something that looks like you could have done in the gym bro good lord bro um the bbl and you were 16. Your this body wasn't fully developed. Oh, this is so bad. Um, we went to Vegas for my little brother's basketball tournament. So that's where that's from. This is the third one. This is me about a year and a half post-op. I wish I would have stopped there. Um, unfortunately, I continued on and had eight more surgeries that eight? have left me literally disabled. So in the next video, oh part three, I'm going to talk about how, how much I've spent on surgeries, the worst surgeries I've had, recovery, the surgery that essentially left me disabled. Catch you in part three. This is so bad. Welcome to part three of taking out my braids and answering questions on how being gifted a BBL at 16 ruined my life. Damn, my... Okay, so I'm about to go into my oh, appointment, what the... but I was finishing editing part three, and as you can see, I got my braids out finally, but there's a couple of things that I wanted to say. Oh my gosh, girl. Even with lip fillers, your shit's still chapped, bro. That I noticed while I was editing. 
First of all, I can tell a ton of people think that I'm saying that my life was ruined and I was left disabled by the BBO and that's not the case. You literally just said that. You just said that. It was by the addiction that came with starting plastic surgery so young. Second, just a disclaimer, you probably okay. wanna watch this one in 2X speed because this is like a 10 minute video compared to the other two parts. Third disclaimer is the original BBL, yes, it was a gift, but every surgery that I have had after that, I have paid for myself. So that's all money that I have spent myself. Damn. Third disclaimer, people are saying I look older than my age. I think that that is also a result of the plastic surgery addiction. I feel strongly that once I got the buckle fat removal and the rhinoplasty, that it aged me a lot. Yes, so, it did. Those are my disclaimers. Enjoy. Not gonna lie, 2X. The initial surgery, the BBL, went really good. I did not have any complications with the recovery. Um, it actually looked really good. You can see my before and afters in the last video. Um, but I was getting constant compliments from those around me. I went viral on social media after. My head was blown up, to say the least. My head was blown up. That's what happens, bro. You get you get your head gassed up, and then you just you just. So then I started to stand in front of the mirror, and I'm like, hmm, what could I fix? Like, what else could I alter? Like, if I just tweaked this, what else would? You know, like, ooh. Um, and I was also in a super unhealthy relationship at the time. Like, I had just gotten a super unhealthy relationship immediately post-op. And he would constantly tell me, like, hey, if you just tweak this, you would be perfect. <laughs> that nigga did not help in any way, bro. Hey, if you tweak this, you would be perfect. Actually, tweak it again, then you'll be perfect. If you just tweaked that, you would be perfect. You'd be the definition of perfect if you just got filler here, if you just got your jaw done. So that took a huge mental toll on me, too. So and that's my point. Why are you with a nigga who doesn't like what you look like? Why are you with a nigga who's telling you you need plastic surgery? Oh my gosh. Of all the, the three parts, this is going to be the most personal, the most vulnerable, and the most uncomfortable for me because I've never spoken on exactly what surgeries I've had. But I'm not sharing this for any sort of opinions in the comments. I'm sharing it strictly to help people okay. not end up in the same situation as me, um, to raise awareness and to hopefully stop somebody else from making the same decisions that I made. I am now 22, and since getting my first surgery at BBL, I have now had a rhinoplasty, buckle fat removal, I've had armpit lipo. Armpit lipo? Girl, you're 22. Hit the fucking gym. Oh my gosh. I have had um, my breasts done. I've had breast augmentation. I, have I told you. I told you, bro. I told you right at the fucking beginning, bro. I told you right at the fucking beginning. That's why I told you, Kendrick. I said, don't say Lord, bro, because there's a chance that those are fake too. And she just said it, bro. She just said it, bro. I had a hip and butt augmentation. And hip? And that is a specific surgery that absolutely destroyed me. So in 2022, I started... Just go to the gym, bro. Just go to the gym. <laughs> oh my. A lot of my BBL fat had dissolved or died. Um, it didn't survive, I guess. So I wanted a second round of BBL. Um, I didn't want to gain the weight to do it, so I started exploring my other options. Okay, so I stumbled across implants. Oh, if I could go back in time. If I could go back in time. I end up spending close to- You did it 40K? $40,000 on custom hip implants and butt implants. Um. I immediately after surgery, I knew something was wrong. I knew I could feel it. I had to have a nurse come stay with me for about a week because I was fainting from the pain. Even taking the pain medication, I was fainting from the pain. So I never fully healed in my hips. I have no feeling in my hips almost 18 hours a day. It feels like my hips are asleep. And then those other four hours, it's like the tingling sensation of your of your feet like waking up. Oh, Ooh. oh, that is a painful life. That's a painful life, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that's a painful life. You can't even feel your hips for most of the day. And then when you do feel it, it's that pin and needle feeling that you get when your 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 foot, your arm, your hand is waking up. Oh nah, that's a terrible fucking life, bro. Up, you know what I mean? So I'm in constant discomfort. I've had to take multiple flights to and from that's LA a to terrible go life. visit the doctor that originally put them in because there's been fluid buildup. There has been there has been issue after issue. <laughs> but the the thing is, girl, if it's an if, if they're implants, take them out. It's different with BBL, but if they're implants, girl, take them out. And we are just talking about the hip implants. I haven't even moved on to the butt implants yet. So just in hip implants, I had numerous issues. I had fluid buildup. They did not look like they fit my body at all. I'm like, how are these custom and they don't fit my body? Why can I not feel massive amounts of my, like huge chunks of my body have no feeling. I have no sensation. Um, I couldn't roll over at night. And the way that they put the hip implants in is they put the hip implants in your body and then they sew them at the top to your hip bone. So they're sewn to oh my hip my. bone and throughout the day. I can feel where the stitching is. I can feel burning and pain and a sharp pain in that spot. Thank God I got them removed finally. Um, okay, yeah, she got them removed. Reasons, because all of this is because I've been able to start through the process of reversing everything and I'm finally in a place where I feel like I can talk about it. I made tons of complaints to the doctor um, who originally put them in. He tells me like, yeah, you are that 1%. 
unfortunately 99% of the time things go right and you're that 1% that has complications so I guess there's some pocket where there's like fluid buildup and stuff in my butt implants now we're moving on to talk about my butt implants sorry you gotta keep up so there's like some loose space in my butt implants is what I was led to believe so fast forward to eight months post-op from my butt implants I'm laying on the beach in Miami and I roll so from my Lordy? stomach <laughs> man i love connecticut's laying bro i really do so lordy <laughs> to my back i sit up i'm like <gasps> i start looking around i'm like you guys my neither bro it's fake my butt implant flipped have you guys seen that article online where it's like a suction cup in her butt my butt looks like that i will include pictures in the next slide i started going pictures and i can't i lied i can't i can't i can't it's too bad um but no, I want to see but it. My butt implants flipped and I was doing nothing. I was laying down and I rolled over and my butt implants flipped. Now I'm racing around Miami. I end up at the emergency room where they tell me, hey, best we can do for you is to cut you open and take them out and like. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I know her body looks like those. Oh my God. No fucking way, bro. Oh my God. Hey, man, hold on. I, I, I'm going to break off so I can show this. Hold on. She looked like fucking Frankenstein. I could have said that at the beginning, bro. They were not cosmetic surgeons, to say the least. Like, they were not going to, they were not going to make sure that it looked, that the job was done aesthetically at all. Like, they were going to chop me up. Um, so I'm like, no, I'm like, no, just don't touch me. So I go to Miami airport with my butt inside out. I'm at the Miami airport with my butt inside out, laying, stomach, laying on my stomach in the middle of the Miami airport. I'm on the phone with the surgeon. I'm like, I don't care where he is. You guys need to bring him into the office now. This is an emergency. He tells me in 25 years of doing this, never once has he had this happen to a patient. Oh, good, great. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, no, like, <laughs> so I go back, what I take a shot, fuck? lay down, <laughs> and flip it back. I did what had to be done. Um, and then from that point on, I have basically spent every waking minute exploring my options as to how I can get them out of my body. Um, those are just like scratching the surface as to the problems that I have with these implants. I can't even begin to explain. I can't do horseback riding anymore. I cannot do yoga. I cannot sleep in certain positions. I cannot sit in certain like certain. If it's too hard, if the surface is too like you know what I mean, it's terrible. So I reach out to the surgeon who put That's them in and get them removed, and he tells me, first he says, "Well, I'm not going to apologize." This is his response to me saying, "My implants flipped in the middle of the beach." Well, I'm not going to apologize, which I understand like an apology is an admission of guilt to um, surgeons, but I mean like come on, dude. And then he proceeds to quote me almost ten thousand dollars more than I paid to get them in for the removal. He gives me this quote to get them removed. Damn. That's more than I paid to put them in after he just admitted that I'm that one percent that he's never had this happen before. And now you're telling me I was mind blown. Hope that answers questions as to how what I meant in the original video about surgeons are just in it for the money. I tell you, bro, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> my life. It basically caused an addiction to surgery that led me to getting so many unnecessary surgeries that left me I feel disabled. Um, I can't do all of the basic things that I used to be able to do. Like I said, without risking extreme pain, extreme discomfort, or causing damage to the implants. We do a video um, with pictures out. talking more about the implants specifically, um, with receipts, pictures, and more of an explanation on the implants specifically. But that is it for all the questions um, in relation to my original video. If you guys have any more questions, um, leave them down in the comments. And this is part four of how getting a BBL at 16 ruined my life. I'm 22 now, and I've already spent probably upwards of $90,000 on plastic surgery. 90K! So I'm talk about irreversible damage and answer some of questions. One of the top things that I saw me was to see the pictures anyways, because I didn't originally post the pictures of my butt implants flipping. Um, I did post them because I don't think that TikTok would allow it because I didn't have pants on. If I could describe it to you, just imagine like a suction cup. Um, you can go look up if that's flipping and you'll see, but imagine it looked like a suction cup on my butt cheek rather than like a butt cheek. It was inverted and like a suction cup. Oh it was terrible gosh. and I was walking around Miami airport like that. TikTok would definitely remove it, but just, it was gnarly, trust me. In case you're new here, I have had eight surgeries. Kendrick, bro. I started my plastic surgery journey at 16. At this point, I have spent- They're not even real, bro. Surgeries, and that's not counting hotels, flights, medication, aftercare, complications, because at this point, complications have cost me more than- <laughs> Speaking of complications, I'm going to go over each surgery I've had and my complications or complaints that I have about those procedures. This nigga busting over, over this is plastic, just bro. Obviously, some of the complications and complaints that I list are going to be more minor and others are going to be more severe, but I'm just going to go through each surgery and tell you the negatives of each surgery that I experienced because I've not had a single surgery that I can say I 100% didn't regret. I feel like complications is something that's not talked about enough in general. You see like the before and after pictures on social media and you're like, oh my god, wow, but you don't see what goes on behind the scenes in terms of the recovery process and how excruciating it can be mm -hmm. and the fact that there is a very high chance that there will be complications that are irreversible. So I'm here to raise And. For example, BBLs, there's an, uh, a, a very high chance of fatality. Just Don't saying, bro. Right. Dead, Highest so fatality rate of any cosmetic surgery. I'm going to start out with my breasts. I got my breasts done. Um, when I got them okay, done, she did not need to do that. Muscle, which is very, very uncommon. It's Wait, also what did she say? Very uncommon of the muscle, which is very, very plants on top of the muscle, which is very, very uncommon. She put the implants on top of the muscle. Oh my. Girl. You put them on top of the muscle. You're not supposed to, bro. You're supposed to put them under the muscle. At least, I think that's what my girl told me. I think they go under the muscle. I don't remember. It's always supposed to go underneath the muscle. I was a C cup. Yeah, it's always surgery, and under the... 445 cc's. And I've seen other girls get 440. That looks so bad. That's just CCs, crazy. They look this big. They look absolutely massive. I'm not sure the reasoning for it. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that they're placed above the muscle. Um, but I would say yes. the difference between me and other girls that above the muscle is that mine are above the muscle. Quick little just... You know what's crazy about that now, Kendrick? You over here lusting about it. She put it over the muscle. They gonna they they are probably not even probably they 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 look terrible. 
They look terrible outside of the cleavage. I promise you they do. I am aware that um, the size of your breasts before the surgery can also have an impact on the end results. I'm saying I compared me to people like me and my results are still drastically different. There was no lift done or internal bra when I got the implants. So my breasts have dropped significantly and the implants are like floating around again because they're on top of the muscle. So if I'm bad at night laying on my side, my breast implants will flip. Like I said, I'm not asking you. Like oh. um, like yeah, Kendrick, you lessen over that. Remember that. <laughs> I feel like my face looks a lot droopier than it used to and it's overall not as youthful. I had armpit lipo. Um, I think it made me look worse than if I had just not done it at all. Um, it's like, bro, what the fuck even is armpit lipo? Why did you even do that? Process, I'm assuming some sort of like fibrosis maybe, but it's like super lumpy and there's the tissue all in my armpits. And like I said, now it literally looks worse than if I just left it alone. Right, plastic. Okay, so I feel like my sense of smell is has gone down. It has to be right on my nose for me to smell it. And on top of that, I have become a mouth breather post rhinoplasty and i'm disgusted by it um for those of you who don't know being off breather comes with its own issues in itself hip implants the worst the worst um like i said i have nerve damage to the point where I was yeah you if you it's crazy because people started sleeping with tape on their mouth because if you become a mouth breather your your chin can actually like deform or some shit like that for 24 hours a day like it would wake me up out of my sleep um i talked about how the implants were sewn into my hip bone and that was like where most of the pain came from um the pain came from them being sewn into my hips the actual implant area down here wasn't super painful the pain was all on that like stitch line i did finally get them removed in july of this year um, nice. i talked to five or six different surgeons and they have all told me that unfortunately i will never regain feeling my hips that nerve damage is irreversible um i will always oh she has irreversible nerve damage girl i want you to know that you did this to yourself before you were even able to rent a fucking car. Before you were old enough to rent a car, you you did this to yourself. It's not that like tingly, numb, like it almost feels like you're like how it feels your foot is asleep. I feel like my hips, and that is probably not where I go. So the damage that was done to my hips is irreversible even after removing them. The implants were 2.5 centimeters on both sides, so it was about five centimeters total. Now that I have them removed, I am dealing with loose skin, um, fluid buildups, and things like that that is expected to fix itself, but not guaranteed. I can finally run though again. Now that I got them removed, my hips are coming back, and I cannot tell you how happy I am to see them. Um, I wish that I would have appreciated them. She got hip implants because she had hip dips. Oh my fuck, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Come on. Before, um, I'm going to appreciate the fuck out of my hip dips this time around. And I am so sorry to my poor hips that I did this. Okay, then the butt implants. After dealing with the butt implants flipping, I have had to completely limit myself and rearrange my entire life to accommodate these butt implants. Every move I make up today has to be calculated and thoroughly thought out. So you understand, I can't even do like crunches or sit-ups down on the ground. Like, even on a yoga mat, even on a thick padded yoga mat, I still am not able to do those exercises. Things like getting out of bed in the morning cannot just be one swift movement. I have to actually lift myself up off my butt, scoop to the side of the bed, swing my legs off, all while still holding up my weight, and get out of bed. I can't just do one swift movement, otherwise, shit will left. As for my original surgery, BBL, which is a very popular surgery right now, um, Everybody knows the, the bulletproof stomach. I would say that would be the only complaint that I have for my BBL is that I did get some fibrosis on my stomach. Can we touch on two other topics briefly that I saw in the comment section? Not was bulletproof stomach. <laughs> It do look like that, not gonna lie. I'm sure people have stuff to say about it, but not too directly. Parental consent. Um, like I said, in the state of Florida, you can get plastic surgery done with parental consent. Um, the fact that this happened was not something that I had even thought twice about until I posted the video. The and fact that you- well, Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. You can get plastic surgery with parental consent in Florida? Meaning you can get surgery done underage? I think that should be illegal, bro. You should be at an age where your body is fully developed before you can even attempt to get plastic surgery. That is insane. My blame was placed entirely on the doctors, so it has been um, an adjustment for me to read everybody's comments and process that more than just the doctors were at fault. Um, Wait, hold on. An adjustment for me to read everybody's comments and so my video and saw everybody's reaction in the comments. Until I posted the video and saw everybody's reaction in the comments, my blame was placed entirely on the doctors, so it has been um, an adjustment for me to read everybody's comments and process that. My blame was entirely on the doctors, girl. No, the I'm I'm glad I'm glad she's probably taking some sense of accountability here. The blame is not entirely on the doctors. Yes, it's it is on the doctors at some point because they let you do plastic surgery as a minor, but it was also your choice. Um, you take some accountability. More than just the doctors, rough fault here. Um, I love my parents, so that's all I'm going to say on the topic. It is really unfortunate though, and I would one thousand percent not allow my child to do the same thing, even if. Okay, so she's still not taking accountability. I mean, bro, she got this shit at 16. At 16, you're old enough to realize if this is a bad idea or not. Yes, her parents shouldn't. So look, I'm not saying that her parents aren't to blame. I'm saying, like I said, the doctors are at fault. Her parents are at fault. But she is also at fault, bro. Don't, don't just say it's the doctors and your parents and that's it. 
You are also at you're 16, you're old enough to know if this is a good idea. I mean, there's almost always some sort of complication that you're gonna go through with an elective cosmetic surgery. You're altering your body unnecessarily. Is it worth sacrificing your mobility, overall health, and the quality of life? I don't think so. I made a video last week about how being gifted a BBL at 16 ruined my life. Damn. Now I'm gonna do a Twitter, blue sky. Oh my question. god, oh, one of the questions that I saw, I didn't do this story time while taking out my braids, actually. Um, so one of the questions that I saw is, is this a skit? No, this is not a skit. Um, yes, I would that's not a make skit. up something like this. I was 16 back in 2018, and um, <clears throat> I followed Kylie Jenner, of course, at the time. Of course. They say she looked like Northwest like in the comments. about whether or not she had gotten a BBL. So I became obsessed with the idea of a BBL. Um, I ended up on this site <clears throat> called Real Self, um, and I had posted a question on Real Self. I, I would say it's like a Quora or whatever kind of. Um, and I said, does anybody know of any clinics that would perform a BBL on somebody under 18? So this clinic reached out to me so somebody less than a week later that? saying that they had a surgeon at their clinic willing to perform the BBL. That's good, bro. Keep in mind, they only had a couple of surgeons that were willing to perform a BBL on somebody that age because the clinic that reached out to me so was based out of Miami and in Florida. You can get a BBL under 18 as long as you have parental consent. So... It's so possible. fucking stupid. You just need to have parental consent. I honestly have no further comment on the parental consent aspect of it. I feel like that could be a story time in itself. Um, yeah, I really don't have an answer for y'all on that one. It was wrong. It should have never been allowed. It should have never been approved. Um... I cannot say that I would make the same decision with my kids. Still. And that's all I have to say for that. I have no idea why this specific surgeon in Miami um, decided that it was okay for a 16-year-old to get this procedure done. There was not a lot of discussion prior to the surgery. Um, I don't understand why she's never taking accountability in any of these I videos. I showed up that day. They marked me up. There wasn't like a pre-op situation. There wasn't like a meeting beforehand. Um, it was all very just cut and dry, literally. The clinic that I went to has since been upgraded. They have like a beautiful facility now. But when I went to them, the operating room literally looked like a garage. Like I would have left. I would have been so like, never mind. Sketchy. I'm good. Um, the BBL cost four thousand five hundred at the time. This was back when they were cheap before like the BBL wave. You know what's crazy? That's why it became a BBL wave. Is because they were so fucking cheap back then. Um, 4k to get my butt look to look like kylie jenner um so or kim yeah, kardashian a lot of people were wondering how does a 16 year old have the money for that i was gifted it and go to part two to find out who gifted it to me oh so this came out after part one for more drama yeah this shit is crazy bro y'all please please stay true to yourselves bro you guys you don't need plastic surgery bro like i said at the beginning of the video there are some things that are are okay but please don't alter your whole entire fucking look bro just for social media um validation honestly <laughs> a lot of girls they say they do it for themselves but most of the time they do it for validation from other people i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna lie to you not even gonna lie to you bro